nung Pornhub. Oh, Pornhub talaga. Hello everybody, this is Apostol and welcome back to my channel. Yes, may mic na ako, may background na ako, meron na akong ring light. Amazing! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. This is Apostol, kamusta? And it's been a while since my last video, pero... I just want to give you a major update on my life and what has been happening in the past few months or week. So, I have a good news. No, not really good news. Meron akong sasabihin sa lahat. So, I finally decided to resign from my job. So yeah, I did resign recently. Wala pa siguro two weeks. And it has been... A year and three months since I started the job. So I started August 19, uh, 2019, and I the last date on the job was October 20 of 2020. So I finally resigned. Uh, now I'm not doing anything. But uh, as many of you may not know, I worked as a customer service representative sa isang DPO company sa Tarlac and I handle telco, telco products so that's cable, TV, internet, and home phone anyway, uh, that's not the point of this video I just thought since nag-resign na ako, maybe I could share some, some information about the job and some experiences as well since I know it's Halloween I just thought I would share to you guys uh, the things that I have experienced as a call center person <laughs> a call center agent i should say uh in my year and and a year and three months in the job so merong katatakutan and i could say na totoo si junjun so just a quick context si junjun is this entity na from site to site uh call center agents would talk about him at sinasabi nila itong Junjun na to ay isang bata, isang matanda. So it, it varies depending on the location that you're in. Uh, but in my case, I experienced it twice. I'm not sure if it's Junjun though, but I did experience some things um, during the job. Uh, first story is, um, nangyari siya sa office. So, I'll tell you a quick background of the office. So, sa office, ang setup is usually cubicles, uh, in fives, rows of five. Tapos, uh, you would sit next to each other. Uh, this was pre-pandemic, so it was still okay to sit next to each other uh, at a cubicle. So, I think it was the last shift of the week. And then, what was happening is that I was uh, talking to an old lady over the phone. She was trying to dispute a bill for, <laughs> I believe it's an adult channel. Um, ano adult channel na nga ba yun? Uh, basta, it was an adult channel. I forgot which exactly, but it was like $30 monthly. Uh, Playboy! Playboy TV! It was Playboy TV. So, usually what would happen is that kapag nireset mo yung receiver mo, kasi cable TV to, for example. So, uh, isipin mo yung receiver na Sky Cable. So, pag nireset mo siya, may instances na magkakaroon ng charge for those subscriptions. Uh, it varies differently. Hindi lang siya Playboy, per se. Uh, it happens from time to time. Ganyan. Tapos, Normally, customers can dispute it naman and then we would find out on our end if they added it on their own or if it was wrongly added by the system itself. So, tumagi yung customer, sabi niya, direct mo siya, uh, na-charge na $30, ganyan, ganyan. And I think the woman was on social security. So, tipid siya, tipid siya sa bills niya. So, exactly, uh, exact amount lang yung gusto niya every month. So, hindi siya pwedeng lumpas sa threshold niya na parang $100 something yata per month. At eh, that time, parang nasa $120, $130 yung bill niya. Kasi nga, na-add yung subscription na yun. So, ang nangyari is, 
Okay, you know, sis, Krishna, sabi ko, I, I assure you, I can go ahead and help you out with this one. Uh, let's try to check your account. Then, yeah, yeah. So, let's check out our account. And at that time, ang bagal ng internet ko, internet ng office, I should say, may instances na matagal mag-load yung system, so you would try to build rapport with the customer. So, you would talk to them, you would ask them uh, what they are doing that day or how their day is going so far. So, tinanong ko siya, ganyan-ganyan. Tapos, hindi ako sinasagot. As in, blanco ang tahimik ng line. Sana meron akong cop- copies nung, nung voice call. Pero, uh, I remember, if I remember it correctly, hindi niya ako sinasagot. Tapos, biglang sabi niya, Is there someone with you on the other line? So, sabi ko, uh, No, I don't think so. Uh, it's just me and... Uh, it's just me and my friends, sabi ko. Uh, syempre, we, we were in the office at that time. So, you would assume na I am with my office mates. So, sabi ko, no ma'am, uh, we are currently in the office and my friends are on their calls as well, sabi ko. And explain ko sa kanya. Sabi niya, there is a woman speaking over you, sabi niya. So, sabi ko, are you sure ma'am? Ganyan. Syempre, nagtaka ako kasi bakit may sumasabay doon? And I think it's the party line, sabi niya, ganyan. So, quick context again, party lines are, uh, like, sumasabat yung, yung phone call, ng other phone line. Uh, I think it was early 2000s na uso yung party line. Just google it up. Uh, hindi rin ako very familiar since hindi ko naman inabutan yung era na yun na telephones ang ginagamit sa Philippines. So, ang nangyari is parang sabi niya, yung sumasabat talaga sa linya mo eh. Sabi niya, parang babae daw. Kasi sabi ko, uh, I can assure you ma'am, I, I am uh, on the workstation. My office mates are doing their job as well. So, cheka, cheka, chinika, chika ko siya. Again, kinamusta ko na lang siya kasi matagal nga yung system ko. So, nung, nung nag-okay na yung system, natanggal ko na yung subscription, na-credit ko na lahat-lahat yung charges ng Playboy, Playboy TV. Uh, sabi niya, bago siya mag-goodbye sa akin, kasi maganda yung connection namin eh, uh, na, na assure ko siya yung gagawin ko, tapos alam ko na nabuild ko yung connection ko sa kanya. Sabi niya, before I go, sabi niya, to whoever you are on the line, sabi niya talaga, inaway niya talaga yung linya. Sabi niya, uh, your mom doesn't love you, ganyan, ganyan. Inaway niya talaga as in mayro, mayro clear na gano'n na, na conversation uh, between her and apparently the woman who is over speaking on my line. Sabi ko, yeah, is there anything else ma'am? Uh, no, it's alright. Sabi niya, it's a goodbye na siya. Tapos, I remember nag-log out ako nun. Tunento <laughs> ko sa team, sa team na, oh, tayo na may narinig ako ganyan. Meron daw siyang kasabay sa dito ngayon. Tapos, Uh, yun, yung issue number one. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, hindi na siguro siya party line kasi uh, usually calls are connected through the internet. Um, that's how they have built up the system. It's currently sa call centers. Uh, your phone is connected to an internet service and then you would get the calls directly from the internet line. So it is very unlikely na may nakikisabay sa line kasi nga Unless, may nakabarge sa telephone mo. But in that case, walang nakabarge sa phone ko that time. And my TL was doing something uh, like a paperwork yata yung ginagawa niya. Anyway, uh, the next story naman is recently lang, mga April or May of this year. Ito naman, nandito na ako sa bahay kasi nag-work from home kami. Siyempre na nag-pandemic, kanyan. So, we had to work from home. So, na-deliver na yung PC, I believe nag-start ako ulit April 1, kasi umalis ako sa office parang March March 25, parang gano'n. Tapos parang 5 days ako walang ginagawa kasi hinihintay ko ang PC ko. So, nung dumating yung PC, na-set up na and all, nag-start na kami mag-calls ulit. Uh, same process, kailan pa din. Tapos, uh, at this time naman, lalaki yung customer, parang middle-aged man, ganyan. Parang siguro ka-Asian tatay ko, ganyan. Tapos sabi niya, meron daw akong kasamang tatlong lalaki. <laughs> and, and sure ako wala. Kasi first call ko yon at yung shift ko is 9 to 6. 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. So, 
paano ako magkakaroon ng kasabay ng tatlong lalaki? Tulog na lahat? Tulog na sila lola ko? Walang nanonood ng TV? Wala na rin sila mama, tulog na sila. So, <laughs> syempre mas takot ako kasi nasa bahay yun. Mirap up ko agad yung call. <laughs> Tapos 399, pakinggan yung phone ko. Tapos meron, merong voices na mas mababa sa pitch ng boses ko. Tapos parang sumasabay nga sa lagay sa phone ko. Yun nga lang, sadly, hindi ko nakuha yung yung mga copies ng voice calls kasi company, company owned siya na recordings. So, hindi siya pwedeng ilabas sa publiko. Pero, yun. <laughs> Nakakaloka kasi d- d- dati, uh, first ko narinig kay Junjun, I think sa KMJS. Tapos at that time, parang hindi ako naniniwala kasi paano may, may batang sasabay sa'yo sa phone line, di ba? I guess that concludes my story. Sana, hindi ko alam kung maniniwala kayo or hindi, pero uh, I experienced those two instances. But still, uh, the BPO industry has taught me so much. So even after I have resigned, I will still continue to uh, use the things that I've learned in the industry. And it really helps as well na you have worked in a service industry wherein parang kami, we serve other people with their products and services. And it, to me, uh, it makes you understand more uh, the struggle of people na in the same service industry as you are. So, mga waiters, cashiers, and all that. Kasi basically, we do the same thing, but over the phone. So, much respect to everyone who is in the service industry, and also much respect to those who are still in the BPO industry. I have nothing to say against anyone. Uh, it is a hard job. I can say myself, nakatapos ako. Uh, nakatapos ako. And to those people who are saying na madali lang ang trabaho sa call center, no, it is not. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of uh, mind conditioning. It takes a lot of strength to continue every day kasi you feel like you're attacked all the time by the customer. And I think that is the best thing that I've learned from the experience and from working in the BPO industry. We always respect people's jobs, lalo na sa service industry nga. Uh, let's try to be a little bit res- more respectful to those waiters, uh, cashiers, and everyone trying to serve us uh, anywhere we go. Establishments man yan, malls man yan, security guards man yan. Uh, baggers man yan sa grocery whatever uh, service they are helping you out with please try to respect them and try to respect as well uh, call center agents because their job is not easy and again uh, thank you so much for listening to this video or watching this video and I hope you subscribe to my channel uh, more more input coming soon kasi nga less busy na ako so yun and uh, again ako si Christian Apostol at I'll see you in the next video.